Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hips Hair. Today's video is this look that you can see. I'm just recreating it. I wore it over the weekend and thought I'd share you with you guys this look. Um, because I'm using a slightly different technique, um, as the title suggests, it's an ombre look as well. And the technique is slightly different to my previous video that I did on this. And I prefer this technique just because the colours blend a little bit more. So if you guys would like to see how I did this look, please continue watching and yeah, I've already moisturized my face using the Nivea Daycare Natural Fairness Cream which has SPF 30 and also put some lip balm on as well and the Nivea Central Care because my lips are really dry right now and also did some the concealer so it kind of sets um, or kind of like blends in a little bit. I'm using the Hide the Blemish uh, from Lino London um, in 004 and I will put all products information and stuff like that in the description below for you guys as well. And also um, for lips because it kind of takes a little bit longer to dry I'm using the Rimmel London Apocalypse in Shooting Star so I really like this colour so far. And yeah um, now I'm using, you can use any colour you want, but I'm using a blue and a green, so I'm kind of just recreating, like I said, the look. And I'm using Sunrise Blue, the Slide On um, NYX eyeliner. And I'm going to do about a half, like a third to a half of my eye in blue as well. So I'm going to just start from the inner corner. I'm going to leave actually the inner corner because I want that really nice and fine. So I'm going to just first do this much. like so and then take my tropical green also from the slide on um, the NYX line and I'm not going to just yet go on top of the blue because I've noticed that sometimes um, then the blue gets onto this pencil and then it just continues all the way through so it's not like a pure green I mean it kind of defeats the purpose of ombre as well so I'm just going to do from here onwards And also my waterline is going to be this, so I'm just going to go right in, hope you can see this. And all the way to the tail up. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to go back with the Sunrise Blue and do just a little bit, like about a half or less than a half on the lower lash line or the inner, um, the waterline really, just to kind of mix the two together. So about this much. And I'm also going to do just the inner corner as well, but really, really fine. And really bring it down low here. Okay, now for the mixing kind of part. I kind of really do prefer this technique a little bit more just because it kind of blends the colours a little bit better. So I'm going to use the green on top of the blue and I'm going to start from about a little bit, just using quite a little bit of the blue as the base and then just adding the green. And then adding a little bit more going on, on, top, of, oops, on top of the blue. like that and I think that's the best way because you can kind of see the ombre a little bit better I'll have to remove that later but yeah I really like these eye pencils as well so I will do a proper review if you guys are interested on these um, eye pencils because I've had them for a while now yeah, as lip well. lacquer looks like um, it's a really nice nudish kind of colour um, I really like it I thought I wouldn't actually but it, it um, the more I'm wearing it the more I like it so I've worn it I think about twice now And that is it guys, I hope you've liked this look, it's just something fun and bright and different for a change. I've been really enjoying doing this kind of type of ombre look and yeah, I really hope you've liked this video so do thumbs it up if you did and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!